What is up everybody? Welcome back. We have got another room tour, updated room tour, 2021. So we have done our first room tour in 2020. Well, we're back with big changes. First thing you guys might notice is how much bluer this room is. So first thing we have done and the huge change this has made is added these um, smart LED lights to the recessed light fixtures. So there's uh, six on each side and our ceiling kind of tapers upward and man, it just adds so much more. So I can control those, make them any color I want, but it had to be that blue, had to be that blue. So yeah, that is a huge change. And then our, um, our cent center light there is casting that that blue up to the ceiling and then we've got that bright white light shining down for the tabletop area. I'm gonna take you guys right over here to the right to show you the one of the biggest changes here. We have got this new display with full art boxes and our awesome Berserk bookends. So in our last video, you guys probably saw um, this, this was looking kind of rough. This was looking kind of ghetto over here but um, we got a much better setup. So we got a much better um, uh, display cabinet here. I don't know, I guess it'd be a shelf. Um, and here on the top, we have got these awesome bookends from Etsy. Um, forgive me, I've forgotten the seller's name, but man, if you guys look up Berserk bookends from Etsy, that, that is what these are and they're incredible. And then we've got our Berserk, uh, I believe these are the hardcover. Uh, I can't remember if they're a library edition or deluxe volumes, deluxe volumes one through seven. Can't wait for eight. And then we've got the King in Black uh, full art box, Incredible Hulk art box. And these are all my issues that are more recent, like from like 2018, 2017 to current. This is stuff that I'm reading or that I'm collecting current runs from. So we got a cool uh, Deadpool um, art box there. And then we got the Kingdom Come art box. And then we got our Batman stuff down here on the bottom. So that in that box is my uh, near complete run of Batman Rebirth. And then I've got Absolute Batman Year One, Frank Miller. That is a must read. Um, and then we have Batman uh, Hush. And we've got Kingdom Come Absolute and then Batman Hush Absolute. Batman, uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. Man, that is the long Halloween. That is where it's at right there. The Batman Scott Snyder Omnibus. Can't wait to read that. Batman and Death and Family hardcover. Joker hardcover. Harleen hardcover. Helsing hardcover from Hell. Alan Moore paperback and two turtles IDW uh, those first turtles issues um, ultimate collection so yeah that's a, that's a big change and a big update um, cool Batman uh, 251 piece of art back there so I don't know if you guys can tell but there is blue light emanating from the back of this so I have got LED strips um, behind this this uh, shelf here so um, and man it just adds so much depth makes it look so much cooler so moving over here um, same kind of deal we've got those LED strips that is the other huge change that we had and man it just adds so much more presence to my to my pieces got the uh, Wolverine um, sideshow premium format piece got magneto maquette sideshow exclusive portrait oh forgot to show slabs up there so uh, the slabs are ever rotating on this upper shelf um, I'm, I'm leaning towards putting my least expensive uh, least valuable slabs up just because you know, we, we got people coming in the house, closing doors, slamming doors. You know, we, we live kind of over the coal fields, as you would say. So, uh, I don't know. Anything can happen. And it just having having big books up there kind of makes me nervous. So, then we got the 
Spider-Man Sideshow Premium Format paired up with uh, Tony Tony Stark Iron Man uh, Light Up. I believe this is a maquette by Sideshow. And oddly enough, with my Marvel statues here, I have my DC Omnibus, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I've just got so many more Marvel Omnibus that I've got to kind of put them in more shelf space. So I've got the Green Arrow Long Bow Hunter Saga Omnibus, Batman Nightfall, Fourth World Omnibus, Jack Kirby, Green Lantern, One and Two, Jeff Johns, Spectre, Swamp Thing, New 52, Hunter Bullets, Brian Azzarello, Lucifer, Mike Carey, and Hellblazer, Garth Ennis. All right, moving along. Um, yep, yeah, Slabs up there, First Lobo, Beavis and Butthead number one, Oblivion Song one, 9.8, Spider-Man number one, Silver, 9.8, History of Benalia, Magic the Gathering, nothing really changed here. We took the lights out from under the BoardGameTables.com Jasper table, just because it the cord I had issues with cord management and I was just tired of tripping over the cord we've got the secret lab Omega chairs four of them blue black white and gray love those chairs tables meh check out our review if you haven't already and we've got the big statues right here let me get out of the shadow so I don't look so goofy standing there um, then we got the big pieces right here so these are the prime one pieces Oh, forgot about my Spider-Man uh, little piece here. Spider-Man 66. So we have got a Batman um, one-third scale Prime 1 Dark Knight Master Race. This is this piece never ceases to amaze me every time I get up close to it. Uh, one-tenth scale It. Pennywise, Iron Studios, and then we've got DC Collectibles, Joker Holly. That's the newest piece of the collection. Can't wait to get my slab in of that Alex Ross cover that that's from Poison Ivy. Sorry about the shadow right there. Sorry about that. I'm gonna try to stay out of that as much as I can. Um, prime, uh, yeah, Prime One. Um, Harley Quinn from Batman Hush. And then we've got the child, Grogu, as we know him now. Sideshow, full, um, full scale Grogu. And then we've got Guts from Berserk, Prime One, third scale. Love that piece. So before we had the TV right here. So we had we had a TV here and then we had a piece flanking left and right. Well, we got too many pieces now and no room for a TV. And, and just, I mean, there was no reason to have the TV in here. This has kind of become my reading room slash uh, game room, um, just the collection room pretty much now. So then we got the Joker, Lee Bermejo, Prime One, third scale. This is not the exclusive. That is the regular portrait. And then we've got the other display here. So we've got the three Jokers, 9.8, 1 in 25 variants. Uh, Jeff Johns and Jason Fabic. Love those. I think that, man, they almost look... Because with the light casting on them, I mean, that one almost looks like it's like it's reacting under like black light or something. I don't know. And we got Darth Maul, um, Mythos, What If, Peace. Man, it's, it, 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 he's literally jumping out at you. And with the blue light, so again, we've got the new blue LED lights back there. Big change. Um, just adds so much more presence. And we've got him next to... Gollum, Smeagol, one-third scale, Weta Workshop. Oh, this is Sideshow. I don't care if I said that. The Darth Maul Sideshow with that translucent resin showing the, the ring right there and then the 
the fish in the water. So cool. Willow bones in there. And then we've got the absolutes with the Marvel omnibus. I'm not going to go through every single one of these again. If you guys want to check that video out, check out our Marvel omnibus or omnibus and absolute collection video. The newest, newest, newest editions are those four down there in the bottom. Oh, and also Tomb of Dracula. First Blade. I can't wait to read that. Invincible 1, 2, and 3 compendiums. And then that Flashpoint Omnibus. We did a review on that. Go check that out. So let me get the... See, I, so how our light works, let me just kind of mention that. It's, it's throwing like super bright light towards this way because I just want the statues to be illuminated as much as possible. I don't have lights that cast down or directly on the pieces, unfortunately. Maybe one day, if this room becomes something else um, and, and I move my collection somewhere else, we might change some lighting options up. Just the, anytime you get these statues, the more lighting you can put on them, the more dynamic they become. Um, oh yeah, let me show you this stuff down here. Let me get out of this. Man, I'm casting really bad shadows. All right, so um, there's my D&D stuff. There's Saga. Love those books. And there's my swap outs. Keep them all in there. Here's all my Magic the Gathering stuff, all my binders, my built decks, and then there's all my additional uh, Magic singles. I just keep them all in there. I love magic. If you guys don't play Magic the Gathering, you're missing out. Um, then we got some more slabs up there for Silver Age Two Face and Killer Croc. Just some Batman books. Like I said, the the really the valuable slabs are now in safekeeping and in climate controlled condition. And you know, I, I mean, I'm trying to preserve them. Just they're they're just so valuable that. I don't want anything to happen to them. Um, cool Throne of Eldrain, Magic the Gathering, piece of art right there. So yeah, I mean, huge changes. I think it looks, I mean, the room is pretty much where I want it to be now. I mean, of course there's a few changes I'd like to make here and there, but I'm, I'm really happy with it. I put a lot of time and effort and money into this and I'm really, really happy with it. And I come home from work and sit down and man, I'm just look at look at my pieces and look at my books and man, it just, just makes me happy, man. Really enjoy being in here and kind of transports me into a magic world, man. Love it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy your enjoyed the room tour. I love checking out your guys' room tours. Um Thank you. If any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. See ya.